I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. Let's check out this turn of the century. Well, this is actually pre-turn of the century. This is like 18, was it 1870s, 1880s? The Weber that we're going to be totally rebuilding for a, uh, for some people that I th I've, I've, done, I've done a piano for them before. They're just awesome people. And this is an old family heirloom of theirs. And, uh, and I'm excited to to not only do this particular piano, I'm, they're, they're, they're people that I'm excited to, to do work for. They're, they're fun. And so I think they're going to be really pleased. Anyway, uh, this, uh, this is Rosewood, which, which is illegal now. At least this Brazilian Rosewood is, was over har harvested at this time. Keys, of course, in terrible condition. strings, I guess. Major loss of tone and also loss of tension in these tuning pins. You can hear that right off. Where this is C sharp and a D, but actually goes down in pitch, so you know you've got loose pins here. And there's the, there's the E flat and E that are basically the same pitch, or pretty close to it within 10 or 15 cents or so. And that note doesn't even work at all. This must be, yeah, this is kind of an old style, old style action. Let's just see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, it's just in rough condition, which is pretty, pretty typical for a piano that's 150 years old or so. I guess anything that's 150 years old, except for maybe a painting. Paintings can be in good shape. They're, they just sit on the wall, so they don't count. That sounds like a soundboard issue. I hope that's coming through on the video. It's hard to, hard to know what you're hearing listening, but I'm hearing a... C chord sounds terrible. Yeah, lots of clicking, super noisy action, and super noisy pedal. This middle pedal here still kind of works, and it's catching up there. Hanging up on the yeah, that's pretty rough. Looks like someone's been kicking. I don't know, maybe kicking to the beat as they're playing. Looks like somebody. Bridge, from what I can see here, I'm going to pull out my phone and shine a light on that. Mm, 
see some little cracks there. You can see these. I was trying to figure out if that was a if those are webs or cracks, and yeah, those are cracks right there. Little crack there. Little cracks coming from the holes being under tension for 150 years. Check out that plate. We're going to redo that plate. It's going to be beautiful. We've got cracks in the soundboard there. We'll fill those in. It'll look nice. Relacquer the soundboard. Clean all of that up. And that action will totally clean up the action and it'll not be clicky anymore. It'll work correctly. I generally like to like to replace as many parts as I can. I think we'll probably be able to replace the hammer butts. Things were more or less standardized by about 1880, but there were some, of course, in the 1870s that were doing some standard stuff. Yeah, lots of lots of decay here. Yeah, it'll be good when we're done though. This will be a fun one. So give us about, I don't know, a year or so. It'll be great.